Um, as Jeff mentioned earlier, I'm a product manager for these certs. So in that, I manage the the um, product life cycle for our CompTIA cybersecurity certifications. One thing that involves is that you know every three years we update our certifications, not only to you know ensure that they meet accreditation standards, but you know more importantly that they are up to date with the latest cybersecurity techniques and concepts, uh, so that we can secure our networks. So. If we look at pen testing, what has impacted this job role over the past three years? Well, a lot. Um, hacking, you know, from bad actors has not slowed down at all. In fact, um, you know, it's increasing. In fact, uh, over half of the recent data breaches are due to bad actors hacking into systems. Um, and phishing is then the second biggest risk. But the most important thing to understand is there seventy percent of them are financially motivated, and as we all know, you know you follow the money, uh, and there doesn't appear to be any slowdown in that funding. And so we're probably going to be, um, we will, be battling, you know, bad actors uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, also, forty-three percent of all the breaches involve exploiting vulnerabilities in web apps. So one of the areas that we really need to focus on as pen testers is web application testing. The tools have gotten a bit better over the last three years. Now we seem to be able to you know, find more anomalies that indicate bad behavior you know, using um, some of these uh, web app pen testing tools. So that's really, really, really good. And uh, you can find these vulnerabilities a little easier now than in the past. Uh, growth, uh, pen testing, the market is you know, going to double over the next uh, five years as far as uh, funds go. Opportunities, uh, cloud pen testing is growing rapidly, as you can imagine. This would make perfect sense because what does a pen tester do? Well, they want to test systems. And if more of those systems are in the cloud than on premises, you know, you need to learn how to do cloud pen testing because you're going to be pen testing in hybrid environments, which are partially on ground and partially in the cloud. So what kind of challenges does this bring to us? Well, we have to deal with the rising regulation and compliance uh, that mandate pen testing. And so, you know, most pen testers or most, I should say, regulations only require a few pen tests per year, maybe two for PCI DSS, for example. Um, so, you know, we should probably be doing more pen tests than that annually, and especially more, at least, vulnerability assessments. Um, and so we've got to train more people to do these these jobs. And so the biggest challenge ultimately would be a lack of skilled cybersecurity pros to conduct this testing. The solution is through training at a workforce level uh, amongst, you know, world economies. And the, you know, one of the, if you look at the top 10 of the skills that we are shorthanded on across the globe, in that top 10 are pen testing red teaming skills. And we've got to focus on communication because we're finding that you know, if the pen testers are not communicating the vulnerabilities they are finding to an organization, then the organization cannot pivot to you know possibly need uh, to to budget for possibly a new system uh, that might be needed. And so, we've got to remember to communicate what we find as pen testers, so that um, you know the business side uh, of the company. Uh, can make plans accordingly because you know these vulnerabilities are are great and one vulnerability can take down your entire company so the communication is more important than ever and so ensuring that you have you know integrity that you have professional skills um, and that you can write um, uh, at least complete a form we're not saying you're going to have to be a composition writer but you at least need to be able to fill out an incident form <laughs> and and de and determine you know what you have found and so we're all used to filling out forms, but it's a huge part. Uh, Jeff, do you have any questions about this first slide and the state of cybersecurity? Um, no, I just re reiterate that you know we have our Cyber Work podcast uh, hosted by Chris Sinko and you know one of our 
our, our most popular topic is always ethical hacking and pen testing. And just going back to that communication point, I think that's the one thing that, that all the pen testers that we talk to always point out is, you know, that's really the value that you're going to provide an organization. I mean, all the technical stuff is fun, but if, you know, at the end of the day, like that CISO person holding that report in your hand and like knowing what to do with it is really like where they're going to get all the value out of that pen test, right? Yeah, and ultimately it's a, a basic concept. It's just to write and have someone read your report. That's all this is about. It's that simple, but we have to at least do it. So agreed. That's a, a excellent resource.